Today's lesson is all about working with purveyors for advertising and commercial photography. It's really important to understand how to work in these scenarios and how to make amazing photography for clients. Today, my client is Pier Paolo Tanoyuto, and I'm doing my best to make that sound as good as possible. Yes, but good. what he does is he's a chocolatier, and I'm gonna ask him a few questions about his business before we go in and start taking pictures, because it's important to understand what exactly it is that he needs from me. So, tell me a little bit about your family business. How long have you been in business? The last documents we found about the family and the business is a document from 1854. Actually, I'm the sixth generation of the family. Wow. Chocolate was very important in this area. Mm -hmm. Modica, that is our town, was a Spanish county during the 16th century. And here, chocolate arrived worked in a very ancient way. Mm -hmm. And we never passed it to the industrial process. So we respect the cocoa beans for obtaining a great chocolate. So if I were to be telling your story, what's an essential part of Bonoyuto to tell the world? For us, it's very important to not to sell chocolate. For us, it's very important to transmit our soul to tell a story. That's a beautiful sentiment, and it fits right into how I want to tell your story. I want to tell your story in beautiful pictures, and I think we can get started in your fatoyo. Okay. I want to make it clear that in advertising photography, there is nothing more important than the product. So in this case, the raw beans, the raw product, and then the wrapped product are the three things I want to make sure we touch on really carefully. The other thing I want to make sure we touch on is the idea that our client needs both vertical for magazine applications and horizontal for web applications. Understanding and communicating that with your client before you start shooting is essential. First shot I want to make is a vertical in the 4x3 orientation, and this could be used to place text, a logo, or something else on top of the image. So I'm going to go into the camera app, I'm going to stay in my 1x lens, and I'm going to just get a shot here of the raw beans. And as you can tell, what I'm trying to do is pick up a couple of different elements here. As if the bag had spilled and the beans were falling out on the ground, they're kind of trailing off, and as they trail off, what I want to do is leave that little bit of space in the lower right corner. What it's going to do is leave the client the opportunity to place their logo in the bottom right of the frame. So I have this framed up, and I can see that bottom right corner is where I want that logo to go. I also want to use that as an opportunity to change my exposure just slightly by locking my exposure and dragging down a little bit then I have those double X's in the middle. Make sure that they're aligned. They turn yellow, take the shot. What I have there is an opportunity to set a very basic shot that already tells a story about this particular business. I also have to remember to set myself up for success by creating a frame that gives maximum flexibility to the client. next thing I want to do is set ourselves up for another shot, which is the raw ingredients plus the raw product. So I want to go, ease myself down into the frame, use the burlap bag as my guide, and then lock my exposure because I'm a little bit overexposed and drag down a little bit to darken the image. And shoot. I wanna make sure in this situation that I give my client maximum flexibility and I really like this frame. So I'm gonna justify the chocolate bar to the right of the frame and then to the left of the frame because depending on how they wanna use this in advertising, giving them plenty of space for text is essential. I wanna get really close. Getting really close for me personally is a little hard with my glasses. So I'm gonna put them in my pocket. First, I wanna justify it left side, and I'm gonna use my grid lines here and completely line them up 
first shot, second shot, and then the third shot, I'm gonna to try to move it over to the other side. I have a beautiful shadow happening there, and this is a really nice image. So the next shot I wanna make is a packaging shot. This sometimes is the most important of all the shots that we're going to make. I have four bars that are packaged here set up with the spilled beans. What I wanna do is make sure that I have both the context of this shot and the colors that I wanna pop out of these browns. So I'm gonna to go to the hidden menu. Down here, you'll see four by three. This means that if I touch that and go to 16 by nine, you can see the frame expand. I have all of the elements I like in this composition. I'm in a 1X lens. I'm gonna lock focus here on this lemon chocolate bar. I'm gonna draw that down a little bit to darken my frame, and I'm gonna take this shot. When you're working from a shot list or you're working from a client brief, you're doing what they want you to do. Of course, you're interpreting it, but it's really important also to express yourself and show your client that you have a lot of creativity with their product. So I've arranged this geometric setup here with the chocolate bars in alternating colors. We have beautiful colors and we have nice shapes. I wanna play with that and show a more modern approach to this historic business. So let's check this out. I'm gonna to try to come really close and pick up all of the shapes that are happening in there. And the light is perfect in here right now. I don't have to make any adjustments. I'm gonna focus right in the center and take a shot. I've already done it from the vertical perspective. Now I'm gonna rotate and do it from the horizontal because I have also a lot of opportunity here. Again, my light is absolutely perfect here. And I wanna be really steady and level. We made four product shots with variations for both horizontal and vertical applications for advertising. We are super happy with this. We hope our client is super happy with this because you know what? You always want your client to call you back. This video is a free preview of the iPhone Food Photography online course. In this course, you'll discover everything you need to know to start your new adventure as a food photographer. We will go over the foundations of food photography and how to use them in a variety of applications from advertising to stock photography. We will meet incredible people and with them, we'll explore Sicilian food, traditions, and much, much more. If you'd like to learn more about food photography, please take a look at the full version of iPhone food photography. You'll find the link in the description right next to this video. So join the movement by clicking on that link right now and I'll see you inside the full version of the course.